Ladies and gentlemen, you all saw the pitch competition that happened yesterday, right? Beautiful, we're about to announce the winners. So those who participated in the pitch, please start making your way now. If they call you and you're not here, we give your winning prize to another person. After that, Africa Bitcoin House is coming up on stage. They've made a list of the top 21, 21 Bitcoiners in Africa. The list has been, has been posted on Twitter all this while. Today, we'll find out who is the number one Bitcoiner in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, without further, much further ado, I want to bring up on stage Mr. Femi. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Can I ask any of the hackathon judges who's in the room, if you can make your way up? Any of the hackathon judges? Thank you, Mary. Bernard Abubakar. Charlene, Tim. So yesterday we had eight finalists from the Build for Africa Hackathon um, pitch their ideas. That was the second iteration of the Build for Africa Hackathon. Please come up. And it was an opportunity for us to kickstart the stimulation of important applications that demonstrate the utility of Africa, of, of Bitcoin, based on the challenges we have here in Africa. Like you've heard me say at different points in this conference, I believe Bitcoin skills based on people being able to use it, people able to being able to go from the morning of their day till the evening and every point where they touch money, having an option to spend in Bitcoin. For the last three months and a half, we've, had, we've been engaging online. First, we had the dream board where we had people from across the ecosystem share ideas that can solve problems in Africa in their own small corner. And it's an open board that we're going to continue to use. From that board, and from, we then ran a, a series of conversations, design sessions, four of them, where people came together virtually to discuss ideas they were thinking of. At the end of the process, we had about 37 ideas submitted in. We had a panel of judges. These two ladies represent only a tiny portion of the judges we had, important people people who have been working on Bitcoin, but also people who have been working to improve um, society, life, as well as business. Look through the ideas, talk to the, the people behind the ideas, and work with them to refine and improve the ideas. We shortlisted eight of those ideas which pitched yesterday. Um, and since then, the judges have voted, and we're going to announce who the winners are. Our goal is not for these guys just to build something at the hackathon, get a price, and then go spend the money. For us, success would be if the ideas that they pitched here end up being serious businesses that people in this room are using. And so you will continue to hear the names of these companies because it doesn't end at the hackathon. So we have four prizes. We have four prizes. The first prize, do I have any more of the judges? The first prize is going to be for $5,000 in Bitcoin for the team to continue to develop the idea for them. The second prize, or oh, 38 project. The second prize is $2,500 in Bitcoin. For the third prize, they'll get $1,500 in Bitcoin. And then we have a special prize, which we call the best design prize. So the eight finalists are Splice, which is a merchant network solution um, for people to do cross-border payments in Africa using Bitcoin. Stealth Money, Sats to Go, Skillbit, Views, Mava Pay, Bit Pension, Bit Spend. Do I have reps of, of the teams in the, in the room? Splice. Anyone from Splice in the room? Stealth Money. Please give them a round of applause. 
They spend the last three months building products, building something that people can actually use. Stealth money. Starts to go. Eric. Skill bit. She had to leave. But she's watching online. Views. He's not here, but he sent in a video of the work they had done. Mother Pay. Big Pension. Where, anyone from Big Pension here? Nice. Big Spend. So the judges are going to announce the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, for third place, we have Stealth Money. I'm really, really proud of the guys. Theo and the team have built an incredible, an incredible project. Follow them on online and see see what the progress is like. Yeah. Timmy. Is it coming on? Yeah, Timmy. Timmy, are you around? He's in. He's around in spirit, so it's all good. It's all good. Are we? Congrats. I don't. Is that it? All right. The time we've been waiting for. <laughs> Second place is Splice Africa. Congratulations. Great job, guys. Before we get to the first place, we're gonna ha we have the uh, best design app award, and that goes to Sats to Go. On this side, congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much. There we go. Would you hold that for the cameras? Okay, and now for the moments we have all been waiting for. Our first place winner of the 2023 Africa Bitcoin Conference B Trust Hackathon is Big Pension! Congratulations to the Big Pension team. Great job. Congratulations to all the winners. Oh, you see that? Uh, let's give these winners another round of applause, please. Thank you all very much. So, can we give them a round of applause one more time? So, I, I'll, I'll just say this, a few things, a few last words. Since you have three minutes, anyway. Yes, a few last words, since I have a few minutes. Um, a lot of people on the stage are not software developers. A hackathon like this is not about whether you already can program or not. And I'm saying this because next year we're going to do this hackathon again. And maybe your team may be the one in front there. To build a, 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 a product requires all kinds of skills. And so don't feel like, oh, I'm not a developer, so I can't contribute. OK? And if you're in the room, you want to find out more about any of the projects or how you can support them or work with them, please reach out to me at any time. Thank you all very much.
That's it.